Hi guys, so let's now have a look at section B of the business and personal finance section. Uh, okay, so this is all about business finance, of course. You've got to answer all questions. Uh, now, this is weighted more heavily in favor of this area, of course. So you've got 75 to 80 minutes of your time that you need to allocate to this section. I'd just be, uh, I, I'd really just suggest that you try and manage that time very carefully. Uh, it's very easy to find yourself getting bogged down on the numerical questions within this part of the paper. So just make sure that you are aware of that and that you don't just try and uh, yeah work out various calculations and spend so long doing that, you don't leave yourself enough time to actually complete the 12 mark question at the end and so on. Okay, uh, Those 12 mark questions, deliberately the, the end of each section, the reason being because what a great way for the examiners to actually determine uh, between candidates by those who can manage their time well in the exam and those who can't. Okay, so uh, you may choose to actually start section B first uh, rather than section A. It's entirely up to you how you want to go about completing the paper. Just make sure you're aware of the time. Okay, uh, so we can see that we've got a small business case study here for uh, Arabella's uh, bean bags. Okay, fine. Uh, this section again starts off with uh, nice two mark questions and again you just want to make sure that you're cashing in on these sections. We've got the mark scheme here to the right hand side. Um, uh, any one mark for any of the following up to a maximum of two. So we've got identified two different types of revenue expenditure. Okay, so of course it's day-to-day -day expenditure that we're talking about. So it's wages uh, and it, it may also be of course about not new assets to help grow the business. It's not investing in non-current assets or fixed assets as they're known, but it's day-to-day -day expenditure, isn't it? So therefore it could be utility bills, it could be uh, business rates, bank charges, uh, yeah, insurance and so on. Okay, so this student has uh, dropped an easy mark there. Okay, next one, give two examples of uh, capital income that a small business is likely to have. Uh, so yes, owner's capital, absolutely. Uh, business loan as well, okay, that's uh, that's fine. All right, that is capital income. We can see that there's various other sources which are identified here as well. Okay, guys, so if these videos are useful, please let me know, just put down a thumbs up or uh, drop me a comment there. I'd love to know whether they're helping out, all right, and that, of course, gives me the feedback and, yeah, encourages me to get some more done there as well. Okay, thanks, guys.